The Marshall Islands were the home of the U.S. atmospheric nuclear testing. And a group of people on Rangelap had been exposed to the biggest test of all, a bomb that was a thousand times more powerful than Hiroshima. Over the ensuing 25 years that they were living there, uh, they experienced worse and worse health situation. So they got to the point where they asked to be moved. They asked their own government, they asked the U.S. government. And when we went out there in 85, they also asked us if we wouldn't help move them off the island. To take part in that Rongelap action was just an amazing thing. I mean, it just dwarfed anything else the crew was going through. I was in my bed asleep when the bomb went off. I didn't really realize what it was. I just woke up. And I thought we'd been in a collision with another boat at sea. So I looked out my forward porthole and I saw the lights of Mars and Wharf. I thought, well, OK, it's not my fault. I got up and everything was upside down in my cabin. I could see water, what, about one meter below the main deck level. I had no idea what that could be. I figured somebody left a tap running is really what went through my mind. And that's when the second bomb went off. And it went off right under our feet. And I thought, OK, it's time to go. So I walked back aft, calling out abandoned ship, trying to look into cabins as I passed them. Uh, went outside on the casting deck, crawled up onto the dock. Stood there looking at the boat with all these bubbles coming up out of it and things. And uh, that's when Davy Edward, the chief engineer, came up to me and said, well, Fernando's down there. And I remember arguing with him about it, thinking, oh, come on, Fernando's gone into town. That's what he always did. It was a surprise to find out the French did it. And at the same time, it was uh, a confirmation that what we were doing mattered. About two days later, we had a uh, memorial service for Fernando. It wasn't until that we had to lift that casket up. I had to lift that casket up with several others and carry it out. It all came crashing down, and all of a sudden, I realized that, that inside this big box was this dead friend. And it was very real and very final.